for us to take a look at Jang Liao. This guy's actually really cool. And out of all of the bosses so far that I've faced, this is probably my favorite. To begin with then, he has a charged forward poke. This one's actually pretty easy to deflect. In fact, I found that if I'm moving to the side when I'm trying to get the deflect on it, uh, sometimes the deflect actually misses. So it may well be better off just heading straight for him or even standing still when he's charging this up because you do want to get the deflects on this guy to make the victory a little bit quicker. You can see sometimes he'll start charging up one of the whirly moves. Usually when he's doing this, his left hand will go under his right armpit. This is like a, this is two pairs of deflects. So make sure you get both of those. Then often there's like a lightning blast that comes after that as well. When he jumps into the air and he's charging the other of his red deflect attacks, I find it's best to press the deflect button just as you start seeing his swords start making the circular um, patterns around him. That gets me pretty reliable deflects on him when he's doing that move in particular. His most dangerous and most confusing moves can be the lightning moves. So for example, when he does the overhead charge lightning attack or his horizontal swipe, you definitely want to be doing like a double deflect for that. So just make sure that that's a thing. Otherwise, you can deflect the first one, get hit by the blast, and you could be wondering what the hell's happening. So just make sure that that is the case. Probably one of his hardest hardest ones to avoid for me is when he does the direct poke attack, which goes directly at you with the with all of the lightning on it. Especially as it has kind of a strange parry timing on it. It's like three or four hits, and then a couple of like all round swipes. And if he catches you with a lot of it, this can be the end of the fight. So just be careful of that one in particular. Uh, you'll also find that after he does one of the longer combos, sometimes he'll be stood there. It looks like he's charging up an attack, and he, he kind of is. Like, when he's stood there for a couple of seconds, he usually comes out of it with a big blast around him. This is a good opportunity if you need a heal to get off, get some healing, get some free damage out of it as well. So keep an eye out for when he just looks like, looks like he's stood there. And after long enough of being in combat with this guy, hopefully you'll have yourself a victory.